morning and welcome to Morning Matters. This morning we are on North Front Street. Guess what? I ran into Will. It's been a long time. Will, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing very good. Doing very good. What's the deal? Where you been? The question is where haven't I been? Where really have and you been? Yeah, really and truly. There's been a lot going on within the last three months, I think, since we last spoke. But uh, it was nice to see you this morning. It's good. To, it's always good to see you. For people that don't know you, or this might be the first time they're watching the show, tell us a little bit about Will. Well, Will Moreno is is an entrepreneur in, at heart. Uh, we do have Will Moreno Photography, um, which we do quite a bit of work here in Belize. Um, we also actually just opened Nouveau Nouveau Model Management, and that's for Belizean models. Um, I also do motivational speaking and and stuff like that. So quite a bit, quite a bit. Well, um, because I would imagine a modeling agency is a new phenomenon in this country. Yes, it is. Um, what is why is it important to be a part of an agency as opposed to being on your own? And I would imagine that that is that might be the question that a lot of the girls ask. I mean, some of them might feel like. I don't need to be a part of an agency. I'm my own business. Explain the. I I I, well, I, I sir, can see the I, difference. I can, yeah, I can, I can see where they can where they can be confusing. Well, a lot of times it is misconstrued, and a lot of people have different ideas of what a modeling agency is and isn't. And the reality of it is, is a modeling agency is there as a. Let's put it in a situation of a parent-child relationship whereby a parent is supposed to protect a child. It's the same thing that a modeling agency does for you, except that the modeling agency is out there to not only protect you, but they're, they're out there to be able to get you work that you wouldn't be able to get on your own. They have the connections and the, the people that are, that are network, their, their network is so large that they're able to connect with all these different companies that you wouldn't be able to do on your own. They do all the marketing so you don't have to. Exactly. Um, you know, it is, it's a good place for business people to go when they're shopping for a model. I mean, they will not come and knock on your door because they don't know you exist. Well, the beauty of it is Nouveau Model Management has a wide variety of models. We don't only look for runway models, which are five, seven and above, size zero. We're actually looking for brand models. We're looking for... Um, for runway models, we're looking for promotional models. We're looking for male, female. We're getting into ch we're going to be getting into children as well. So it's something that is new. It's a, like you said, it's a new phenomenon here in Belize, but it's certainly going to be picking up traction. And w a lot of people are saying, "Oh, well, it's not going to be working here in Belize." And that uh, you, you're going to always have the naysayers, but they don't understand the logistics that go into a modeling agency, nor do they understand what a modeling agency actually does. So you're telling me that not because I'm not 120 pounds and five feet, nine inches tall, that mean I can't get a job as a model because they might like my smile. They it, might be looking for somebody that, that is exactly, has a good smile. That is exactly what I'm saying. Uh, for example, um, just a couple weeks ago, we have a model who's actually four nine, and um, she is going to be the face for, for a major company here in Belize because they just loved the way she looked. They loved her hair. They loved her smile. And she's only 4'9". So she's, she's not going to be doing a runway for them, but she's going to be doing a lot of brand promotion for them. There you go. It's a little education this morning. Well, I'll tell you what, this is Morning Matters. The rules remain the same. You send your texts and then we talk about them. We tell you what we think is the most practical way to go about them. So feel free to email your matters to us or text them in. Any matters you bring this morning, Will? Well, no, no run. I want to hear what you have for matters this morning. Like for me, me? Um, I have no matters. Uh, that's what you always say, Rhonda, but I know there's some matter lingering in your mind. There's really no matter, you know, Will, and, and because I try to, um, there must be a little bit of Buddhist in me. <laughs> and I say that because I try to deal with my issues now. I really try to deal, like if I have an issue with you, uh, the ha I can't keep it inside of me. Well, I will call you right away and say, Will, this is what's up, man. I really not, you know. Well, that's always a good thing because you never have anything lingering. Yes. So you, 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 literally, you're casting all those, 
the weight that's on your shoulders behind you and you leave it there. You don't actually carry don't it with you. I don't carry them. That is why I can see some people now and I am totally indifferent to them. I, when I see them, they don't upset me. And I think that that is how I would encourage people to live. Some people, when they see me, they might be upset. When I see them, I'm indifferent. <laughs> it's the truth. I own them and I don't want anybody to own me. Mm -hmm. He who angers you owns you. So if you deal with your issues as they come and put them away, you're going to be in a good place. Actually, we were just talking about that this morning, actually, in dealing with situations, you know, with what's happening lately in our lives and in, in, in the company and everything of that sort. It's to, it's, she's totally honest. I mean, the thing about it is you can't carry that with you. Those who are not positive influences you're not in your life, you need to leave them there you and leave them behind. You have to dismiss them. You have to. And that is not being mean. That is being careful. We all are responsible for our own happiness, for our own pleasure, for our own for our own growth and if we can't take responsibility for that then we don't deserve to have it exactly all right so now that we've gotten that out the way let's jump into some morning matters sure all right if this is the first time you're looking at morning matters let me tell you how it works people send in their texts we read them we respond to them we tell you what we think is the practical way to go about them based on the limited information that you give all right i live with this man but he was married and his wife accused him he tell her he didn't love she, but she still bother him and she call him and say, come home. Okay. But he no answer what I could do. Well, this, this is a very tricky situation. For one, he's still married. So, you know, a wife is entitled to contact her husband at any time. There's, no, there's nothing that says that there's a legal separation there or anything of that sort. So if they're still married, she has, she has every right to contact her husband. Um, two, it sounds to me that he's living a dual life. Um, he's he, apparently, he, I mean, really and truly, I don't think the, con the woman would be contact him, him if there was nothing going on behind the scenes. Well, I will, and I, I mean, with all due respect, there are some people out there that are a little bit different. There are some women that are just, I mean... If they, some men leave them seven years ago and they're still calling the man to tell the man come home because they, at one point in time they were married or they're still legally married. I say for you the one that's sending the text if the man says he doesn't love her anymore he probably don't love her anymore but I don't know that I would tolerate a married man in my home to breathe up my oxygen. Why? Because Unless he is divorced from her, you're really not building anything exactly. together. You're, you're just passing time. And it's okay to pass time when you're in your early 20s, but the older you get, the more important time to um, come. Exactly. And, how, and, and it, it seems short. The, the thing, you know, time does get short the older you get. And you, get, you have, the, the time that you want to have is time for more important things in life. Yes. Which means you want time to to create memories you want time to be able to love each other you want time for that stuff you don't want to be dealing with a Somebody marital situation yeah as well that's what i was gonna say baggage that you had from back in the day or you don't want to bring that forward this one says i am 15 and my boyfriend is 18 and he told me that he loves another girl i felt stupid i realized that he's only happy when we're having sex what should i do at 15, 15. you shouldn't be having sex I certainly agree with you. Um, at 15, you should be concentrating more on school. I mean, I do understand that you're gonna you're gonna have your um, your crushes, and you're do you're gonna want to be in a relationship. But that's not the most important thing in the world right now. The most important thing in the world right now is to actually concentrate on your on your school and your education to get you forward. Why don't you fall in love with your math book, or your physics book, or your science book? At 15, you should not be having sex. Sex. You know, sex should be illegal for people less than 18. Well, Why? it is. No, no, no. I mean, they're still having it. But yeah, no. It should be. 16 is definitely no, well, not the time to be let having me, sex. Let me, let, me, let me just state this. Here in the country of Belize, 16, 16 is your legal consenting age. They should. Which shouldn't actually be 16, if you ask me. Oh, hey. they, it should be somewhere around the age of 18 or 21. You and, you know, for the 18 year old to be taking advantage of this 15 year old in any situation you know this is something that needs to be addressed 15 years old you should not be having sex 15 years old you are not legal to have sex 18 years old is taking advantage of you but obviously you want to be in this situation there has to be something that can change your mind from this i hope you learn from it i hope you leave it alone i hope you stop having sex sex is not for fun you know 
sex will bring children into this world. You are a child. You don't need to be bringing children into this world. You're I not agree. responsible enough to be dealing with that. I can't, and I always say this, I can't see how they can make the age of consent 16 and yet you need to be 18 to drive drink. and in some countries is 18 to, to drink. drink. How I can they task you with something so powerful at such an early age one of the and things then in something less important they give you two years two, more? Exactly. I mean, really? I mean, one of the things that's really concerning Let's here though is um, the fact that where are the parents in this? I mean, if she's having sex at the age of 15, what are the parents doing? Where, where is she going to have sex? I mean, that, that's, that's really, the, it comes down to that question. Definitely. Good morning. When is it not okay to forgive someone and give them a second chance? Wow. Well, when, when is it not okay or when, when is, is it okay? When it's not okay. When is it not okay to forgive them and give them a second chance? Well, I mean, I think that based, that's based on the individual. I mean, you have some individuals that can forgive. Like I've always said, forgive and forget is two different things. You can forgive, but a lot of times you won't forget. You have to be able to make up your mind whether you can forgive and actually move on. If you know that you can't, that you can, you can't forgive and you can't move on, then I, that's the point in time when you really say, you know what, that's it. It's, it's over. When it's, in my opinion, when it's not okay to give a second chance is when you doubt it. When you give a second chance, it should come, not easily, but it should come to you. It should come to you in your mind that I'm going to give Will a second chance because I want, not because the rule books say I must give Will a second chance. I will give Will a second chance because I can live with the consequences of that action. When the answer, when you should not give a second chance is when you can't live with the consequences of that action. When I can't forget and it lives in my mind and it bothers me and it eats my soul out, that is when. But also when you must not give a second chance is when it's more than second chance. Well, <laughs> then it be, then that defeats the purpose of second chances. You know, <laughs> but some people they get second chance all their life. Well, that's true. I mean, second, third, fourth, but exactly. at that point, you know, once you pass the second, you're in third. Let's like baseball. Become habitual. It's, it's a habitual thing. So that's it's like baseball. You're out. You're out. This is Morning Matters. We're going to take a break and we will be back. When you think of the largest selection of sporting goods, you must think of Midway Limited. Musical instruments, Midway Limited. The largest selection of guitar strings, Midway Limited. At Midway Limited, you get high quality soccer boots, footballs, basketballs, billiards, mixing boards, guitars, violins, drums, tennis rackets, fishing poles, and a wide assortment of electronics. Midway Limited is the authorized dealers for Martin & Company, JBL Speakers, and Roland Instruments in Belize. Midway Limited, it's your one-stop shop for electrical, musical, and sporting equipment. Visit Midway Limited on Center Road in Spanish Lookout or give us a call at 823-0095. Chrysler PT Cruiser, this is the stuff. You know that it's all that. It's like big band meets nouveau bebop rock funk. You feel what I'm saying? Totally recombined and redefined. Cool, classic, free, true. But y'all don't understand. Just peep the lateral symmetry of the instrument panel. Audible, adjustable, flexible, flavorful. Chrysler PT Cruiser. Y'all don't understand. Chrysler PT Cruiser. This is the stuff. ta -da.
fuel these days, every fill-up can be a curiously scary experience. Rising gas prices have transformed to the point where it feels like it can cost you the shirt off your back. That's why we created Lucas Fuel Saving Motor Oils. Their special additives increase compression and minimize friction, improving fuel mileage. With Lucas, you'll keep from losing your shirt, or even worse. Seaboard Marine, a leader in ocean transportation, is now offering services to Belize. Offering the fastest and most reliable transit to Belize, Seaboard Marine is the number one choice for shipping. We offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chill cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule, excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information. Whether it's your life you're trying to sweeten or someone else's, make it Moho Chocolate. At Moho Chocolate, we produce the finest quality chocolate. All the cocoa used by Moho Chocolate is sourced from over 120 farmers from southern Belize. We produce chocolate bars, chocolate truffles, mini chocolate squares in several flavors, and organic cocoa powder. We also have gift baskets. The next time you eat chocolate, make sure it's Moho Chocolate. Visit us at any of our three locations in Tourism Village in Belize City, in San Pedro, or in the Departure Lounge at the International Airport. When you think chocolate, think Moho Chocolate. Marie Shop's Fine Foods. You've come a long way, lady. A true Belizean original for over 30 years. Winner of many prestigious awards, such as the Food and Beverage Food Award from the Anuga Food Show in Germany, the Fiery Food Show, and many others. From Belize to China and Japan, from Germany and the UK to the USA, you can choose with confidence your favorite Marie Shop's red and green hot habanero pepper sauces. How about our just juicy fruit juices? Marie Shop's jams, jellies, exotic tamarind based steak sauce. Belizean seasonal, green mango chutney, snacks, as well as our popular red and green pepper jellies. All mouth-watering, all delicious, all natural and free of sodium benzoate preservatives. And HACCP certified. Marie Sharp Fine Foods, proud products of Belize. Whichever suits you better, Grace Coconut Milk is your best choice for taste. Good as homemade, only more convenient. Grace. Bringing good taste to life. Build your future with Belize's leading development finance institution, DFC. We finance development projects in sectors of education, housing, agriculture and agro-processing, manufacturing, tourism, small and micro enterprise, and much more. All at affordable interest rates and flexible repayment terms. We also offer free in-house property valuations, free sound financial and technical guidance for projects, affordable building and life insurance coverage under DFC's group insurance scheme and more. So what are you waiting for? Take advantage of DFC's efficient delivery of loans and related services and get a step closer to building your future. Visit any of our nearest offices for additional information or call us at 822-2350 or 822-2360. DFC, Realizing Belizean Dreams, your partner in development.
morning and welcome back to Morning Matters. Will, how are you doing? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. It's, a, it's actually a beautiful morning here in front of Spuna's Cafe. I tell you. Um, a lot of tourists in today. You know, I was talking to Spooners the other day. He said first when he came to Belize, he was Spooner. Spooner. And then Jeremy Spooner. Yeah, and then he gone a few years later and start calling Spooner. <laughs> And now they call us Spooners. Spooners, <laughs> exactly. And that's that's his nickname and it's it's stuck. Yeah, it's, it's close enough to Spooner. But let me let me tell you, have you had have you had his chili? Spooner's chili? Yes. That would have been a he push. Is, no, but here they Spooners actually makes a delicious chili. Does he? Oh yes. He make it with the own two hand? He make it with the own two hand. And uh, trust me, whenever he whenever he makes chili, he's actually sold out of his chili. What? I better put in my chili order right away. Spooners actually have a good chili. Spooners have a good chili, the man said. Not, on, not only good chili, but you have to try their beverages, their, their coffee, their iced coffees, their coffees. Breakfast, I mean, breakfast is good here. Well, we've had breakfast. Breakfast is good. But so. I have to try this chili. Yes. Hmm. So what other matters do we have this morning, Ronda? I have this guy and I know he loves me. And he spent all his time with me. But our problem is his friend. And the girl that detects him, what should I do? Oh, so the friend is a girl? Is that what I'm getting? I it think he, he has two problems, it seems. The problem is two people is what I should say. The one friend is a friend? And the, and the girl that is texting him. Well, I mean, it, it all depends on what, what, is, what's, what the text constitutes. I mean, if the text is, I mean, do you have friend? You have friends that are girls, and you can be texting back and forth without having any indecent conversations. I mean, I do have friends that are girls too, and I do, I, you know, you text, and there's nothing to it. You know, it's just a, it's just a casual conversation, except that it's through texting. It um, depends on how often it is. It depends on the context of the text, like. Well, you that's said. what I'm saying. The context of the text is certainly important. Yes. I mean, if it's just light chatter back and forth, you know. Joking about a situation or anything of that sort, that's not, it's not a problem. If it starts getting into, you know, well, what are you doing later? Or, you know, how are you feeling? Like in terms of, you know, are you in bed? You know, those are, th those are going a little bit beyond. And I think that's when it needs to, that's when you really need to watch what you're actually texting back and forth. Well, I say if it makes you uncomfortable, discuss it with your man. And ask him to stop it because... None of you should be in an uncomfortable place. Exactly. I mean, mm -hmm. I am 26 years old and I am in love with a 14 years old. Uh, what? Wait, wait. I hope that this text was a mischievous text and not a true text. Anyway, I'm going to read it. Morning. I am 26 year old and I'm in love with a 14 year old. She is in love with me too. I have not touched her yet, but she wants me to. What should I do? You, you know what you should do? <sighs> Pack yourself up, pack a nice bag with the clothes that we want to wear, Just and walk march yourself prison. to prison. You, that's Street. what you need for those. Street. Either that or you need to go down and place, either prison or you need to go get mental help. So check yourself into a mental health institution and get yourself sorted because something wrong with you. You know what, Mick, let, let, let me just address this a little bit more because, I mean, this is, unfortunately, this is the reality of the society that we live in today. And, you know, it happens not only here in Belize, but it happens all over the world. This is something that is very, very wrong. And at the age of 14, she cannot consent to having sex. So even if she wants you to touch her, you as a consenting adult at 26 should be ashamed of yourself to actually be thinking about actually touching a 14-year-old. Second of all, you know, the, the thing that's going through your, your mind of, you know what, maybe she's young and obviously, just by thinking about sending in this text in, you're actually thinking about it. So I would definitely suggest don't do it and get yourself some help. Know that you're a sick man. And I, and I mean this with the most respect. You know, recognize that your thought process is, is, is twisted. And you definitely you need professional help and if you don't get the help that you need you will end up in a place that you deserve I mean, so you better recognize what you're well that's, that's do. exactly it if he doesn't get the help he he's actually going to commit to, to, to doing what he's not supposed to be doing and he's going to get caught and I'm not, I'm not saying getting caught because that's exa exactly what's going to happen and he's going to end up behind bars for a while and I have to say to the young girls out there you have to be strong open and honest and Take it from me. 
when a man comes to you that you know, let's say you're 15, 14, 16, 17, and a man comes to you, nine out of 10 times, the only thing they're interested in is your physicality. And that is, should be, in your mind, that should be almost Well, it all depends on age. It, it all depends on age. I mean... No, no, no. I said a man. In, yeah, but in, in, a, in a case like this, a at the age of 14, yes, that is, that is all he's going to be interested in. No. Because really and truly, your mind is not dev developed enough to be able to make... In uh, to be able to make consensual decisions as well as your mind is not developed enough or mature enough to be able to to think and or rationalize the situation that's actually happening and know that you will think that you know but you don't, don't know. know exactly you know when i was 15 16 17 and even up sometimes today i think i know but guess what i don't know and we can all learn so sit down listen learn if you if something is happening to you that you know shouldn't be happening, tell. No care when no man say, tell. Exactly. Tell any and everybody. Exactly. Hey, yeah, yeah. Get yourself it's hard some to help. deal with these predators. Well, you know what? That's, that's exactly what it is. Because that's, that's all he's doing. He's actually preying on these, the mind of a young 14-year-old that he thinks that he can actually manipulate in this case, you know, the 14 year old should actually go and tell the parents or tell a, uh, an, an, an adult that she trusts exactly what's happening. And, tell you know, anybody. yeah, just tell. Well, well, we're moving to our next matter. Yeah. It's so unfortunate, though, and, and I, I know I've gone back to this one that there are a lot of people out there preying on young, innocent children. I mean, and there are a lot of people that know, but they don't say. Guess what? Say. We don't talk about everything else, talk about this. You, you know, the, th the thing about it is they go to school and they talk about everything. But the one thing that they need to talk about and or tell somebody else, they not tell. And that's the way, that the way I don't understand, really and truly. This one says, morning, women need to stand up and stop. Make man take them for joke. <laughs> this is 2014. Wake up or else you don't get left behind. You know? True, true, true. People though, because and I have to say in defense to some good men that there are a lot of women out there taking advantage of them as well. There are a lot of women out there that take advantage of good men. So people Ooh. need to wake up. We need to make conscious decisions for ourselves. Well, I mean, Rhonda, you know the way our society is today. I mean, and it's so unfortunate mm -hmm. that we, we have a lack of good men here in Belize. And like all over the world. Well, they, but here in Belize, for some reason, yes, I think it, there's a little concentration. <laughs> and I'm not talking about myself, but <laughs> uh, um, but there, I mean, from all my friends that I that, that, that I know, it? it's just the way that I think societal issues that we have here in Belize and the way, you know, it's a, it's a cultural phenomenon that has happened throughout time. And I think it just gives men that machismo feeling to the point that they can do what they want and get away with it. And I think women today, like this person says, need to start standing up for themselves and saying, you know what, I'm not going to tolerate, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tolerate this anymore. So they need to put a stop to it and say, you know what, stop, I'm not going to do it. We need to go back to the time when we had more morals or we were more in tune with our morals and our lives would be a better place. Agreed. Hi, good morning, guys. I love my girlfriend so much, and it puts so with like so many O's. <laughs> she called me nine times last Friday night about 10.30 while I was asleep and missed her calls, obviously. She hasn't spoken to me since then, despite a few calls and texts. Did I do anything wrong? I need help. Um, it seems to me that your girlfriend has some insecurity issues. And if calling 10 times, I mean, calling after three times, you'd, you'd, you'd think, you know what, he's probably asleep. Or if in a case where she's calling 10 times, it seems to me that she doesn't trust you very much. And she actually thinks that you're somewhere or out doing something that you're not supposed to be doing. Although you don't see it as a problem right now and you think, oh, she loves me so much that she's calling me 10 times. It's really a, it's really a way for her to actually check up on you. Well, in defense to what could possibly have happened is, I, let me think where to go on through the lady head, right? Mm -hmm. First of all, I think this is not a young couple. <laughs> I think, Will, that what's going through the woman's head is, like I said, I think they're a young couple. Mm -hmm. I think first it says, first he must have done something in the past to create the mistrust. 
that or she came from a place where she was already scarred. One out of the two. Yes. If it was me and I called you at 10.30, mm -hmm. depending on your sleep pattern, I might think you're asleep. It's Friday night. I might think you're out. Depending on who you are. You might be a party animal. This man might be a party animal. He might uh, go out every Friday night and maybe she wanted to go out with him. So if I call you three times or I might not have seen you all day and I want to know if you're dead or alive. And if I call three times and you didn't answer, no, I, it's cause for concern. I mightn't think other th anything other than I wonder if we're okay. Three times I understand, run about ten times? Ten times now, push. Exactly. That's exactly my point. That's exactly but my, my point. My question that's up to you now. How will you never hear the phone ten times? Well, I mean, the truth about it is if you're, depending on the type of job that you do, My sometimes you're very, really tired and you're not going to hear anything that's around you. You're in that deep realm sleep and you don't hear it. You know what? I, you know why I believe you? Because you send the text here. I can't believe that you'd have sent me a lie. On, in uh, terms of, I'll be honest you made a sleep. That person would actually be mad at me and be very mistrustful of me because they'd be calling my phone at 8.30 and they wouldn't start getting me then because that's my bedtime. And... When, they, when I go to bed, guess what I do? I turn off my phone. Some so, people do that And I, I do that because I know my phone rings constantly. And I'm not going to answer a phone call anytime after 8.30. I, I think anytime after 6 o'clock for me is... Because of it's your personal. position. Yeah, because it's, it's personal. But anytime you get past my 8.30 bedtime, forget it. I'm not going to answer a call. So what you can do now is the only thing you can do is to be honest with her. Leave yourself open. If she, if she stay away long enough, she don't want you. Exactly. And maybe you can do without the stress. So give her a few days to come around. And if she don't come around, then you keep it moving. Exactly. Good morning. I have a woman that I love. And I think she loves me too. But we're going to be with each other in the next nine months. What do you think? Nine months work for you, then it work? They're probably away for nine months. Uh -huh. And they won't be together until nine months' time. Okay. So he wants to know if that's a good idea. And guess what? If it works for you, it works. Yeah, it all depends on how you guys deal with it. If you're if you're in a, a a developed relationship, or if you're in a relationship whereby you have trust and everything, it should work out. Nine months is not a very long it's a time. time. It's a very short time. Unless so. you're carrying a baby in your belly, then nine months seem like forever. <laughs> as I'm telling you. Well, I, well, I wouldn't know. The only well, babies I carry are only food babies, not no. nothing else. I'm telling you, after nine months. So. Nine months is a short time if. In that situation. If you're waiting for someone, if you're waiting for someone and you're in a really deep relationship and you have that, you know, that, that, that communication line and everything is open, nine months is a very short you time. You can manage nine months. But this one says, sorry, yeah. sorry. Mm -hmm. It says, I recently got into a new relationship, but both of us just got out of a long relationship. He was married, but I am still having feelings for my ex. Should I continue the new one or wait until I am completely over my ex? Um, definitely wait till you're over your ex because there that could create a lot of complications in the new relationship. I mean, you're not going into something wholeheartedly, and if if you're not going to be putting yourself wholeheartedly into another relationship, it's best not to do it. Couldn't add nothing more to that. That's the truth. Not only that, well, I can add this to it. Not only that, you need some. I think when you come out of a long relationship, we all need some time for ourselves. We need at least space, one lead breathe and one lead relaxation. And you know, it, it's, it's, it's like going from one level of captivity to the next. You need I some agree. free time for the side if this is the case you really want to, you know. Well, the thing, uh, the thing too, Rhonda, is the fact that, you know, when you're out of a relationship, what you need to do is you need to actually take a look back at the, the relationship that you were in and see exactly <laughs> what happened in your relationship. You need to analyze that entire thing. What went wrong? And that way, you're not able to make those. You're not going to be able to make those mistakes again. So, I always tell people when they're when they when they get into a situation like this, find yourself first before you go out and you find another relationship. Because if you don't find yourself first, you're going to realize that you know I can't give to someone else if I don't even know myself. You need to center your soul. I am 29 years old. I am a, and I am in a relationship with a 60 year old man. We're planning to get married, but people are telling us that it won't work. What do you say? Well, in a situation like that, you guys are both consent, some consenting adults. And I think if it works for you all, then go for it. But at the same time, you know, age is not a factor in this situation. Eventually, it will become a factor. Um, right now, it is not. But if it works for you, go for it. 
31 years is a long time. That is the age difference. 31 years. I understand. And while, I mean, if for me, I would have to write, sit down and physically write the pros and cons of this relationship. So you'd, so you'd create term, two columns. Yes. And there yeah, be four columns. Pros, cons, short term, long term. <laughs> and when I look at that physically, I would have to see then if it makes sense for me to invest in it. And if once you have well, I'm, I'm made that list and it works for you, fine. Well, you that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping she's already done all this analysis to be able to see if it actually works. Most 29-year-olds don't have time for write lists. <laughs> they don't write no lists. They didn't enjoy themselves. Well, the, the, you know... They have somebody where, where see, at this point in time, a 60-year-old man is still physically strong, physically exactly. attractive. I mean... Why, thank you. No, I'm not 60 but, yet. But, but you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but definitely. But when I was much younger, 60 seemed like, oh my gosh, so, so old. So old, exactly. But now 60 is still a decent years. They, they look good. You so know, they're, they're mature. They, they, they have things going for them. And if they want to share a life with somebody else and somebody else wants to share their life, then go for it. But, but I mean, at the same time... When you become... Uh -huh. 39 exactly and he's 70 or he's 71 maybe he's working out and still strong think about it if you want children i mean you have to think of everything bringing children into this world a 70 year old man in the next 10 years is he capable to actually physically help you raise a child so these are things you have to think about i mean so i say like i said make the list of four and then you decide the list have to be four now remember and the four though Pros, cons, cons, long term, short term, and if if the good side the win, then you're all in, and if the and if it almost half half, you have to reconsider. <laughs> but you have to be winning by a long straight, um, a long stretch for you to jump in. I okay. would say. All right. I live. Oh, I have a little sister, and she's 18 years old, and he's 33 years old, and he doesn't allow her freedom. She can't even go to her mother. Because when she returns back home, it's something different. He hits her. What should whoa, I do? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Uh, you go ahead with that, Rhonda. I know what I'll say, but... You know, the only thing you can do to your 18-year-old sister is talk to her. You can't... You can't make her change. You can't make her change her ways or her decision. I think at 18 years old, she doesn't quite understand what life is about yet she quite doesn't quite understand the concept of a relationship and depending from where she came she might be she might have relationships all twisted so the only thing that you can do for her is to point out the obvious but besides pointing out the obvious you need to remind her why she is important you need to remind her of her own strengths because when you are in a relationship where the same man that says he loves you beats you it can get confusing well there's nothing confusing there really it does um if a man that beats you if a man that loves you beats you he doesn't love you but at 18 um, years old it can get confusing because the same man is the man that comforts you 90 percent of the time the 10 percent is when he beats you so in your mind let you me tell you something it. let me tell you something Rhonda. i'm not saying no it's right i'm saying it's what happens if he beats you 10 percent of the time that 10 percent of the time should be trans transposed the other way around you should figure it as a beating physically but mentally the entire time you're not in a good you're not in a good spot so you're con no matter how you say 10 percent of the time he beats you 90 percent of the time you're mentally messed up in the head oh, no, because no, no. you know that you're gonna go home to a beating no 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 no. he shouldn't beat you at all but what i am saying is that you need to sit down with your sister and have her understand this because when you are young you misunderstand so much but he needs to let the girl that's in the situation which is his sister needs to understand that being in a relationship where you're having a man physically abuse you is not a relationship to be in. It is not a healthy relationship to be in. And it is certainly not a relationship that she should be in. Yes. So she needs to under... It, like you said, in her mind, yeah, she can uh, she can relate. Oh, 90% good, 10% bad. She might be misunderstanding. But then she might, be, she might be misunderstanding what is a healthy relationship yes. and a not-so-healthy relationship. Yes. 
This is a not so healthy relationship. Very. Morning, I have my fiance, but he keeps abusing me physically and verbally and end up finding and I end up finding a sweetheart. But the thing about it is that his lady has two kids. I can't see him when I really want, but he helps me out in every way he could. Wow. You have gone from one level of dysfunction to another. To another level of dysfunction. I can see how in your mind you think that you have elevated your status. Because you are not being physically abused. Yes. But and while that is a change and it might be a change for the better, realize you are not bettering yourself. Mm -hmm. When you better yourself, it's because you have left that abusive relationship completely and you have become free to make good decisions. This, you're bringing grief on somebody else's family. I You're mean, contributing it's, it's, to it's, Adam it's, it's, ills. Yeah, well, that's what I was just going to say. Basically, what she's doing is she's, like you said, going from one level of dysfunction to another level of dysfunction. No matter how you look at it, it's a dysfunction. And going from one to the other doesn't make it any better. You know, it just, it just makes the situation even worse. Leave it alone. Wipe your hands clean. Get out of the abusive relationship and leave that well, man with your one, wife. One, one good thing to say about that, though. Ah. I mean, because if he, she leaves that dysfunction behind, she won't be getting a whoop. Leave it all alone. You only could get worse. This is Morning Matters. We're going to take a break and we'll be back with our third and final segment. When you think of the largest selection of sporting goods, you must think of Midway Limited. Musical instruments, Midway Limited. The largest selection of guitar strings, Midway Limited. At Midway Limited, you get high quality soccer boots, footballs, basketballs, billiards, mixing boards, guitars, violins, drums, tennis rackets, fishing poles, and a wide assortment of electronics. Midway Limited is the authorized dealers for Martin & Company, JBL Speakers, and Roland Instruments in Belize. Midway Limited, it's your one-stop shop for electrical, musical, and sporting equipment. Visit Midway Limited on Center Road in Spanish Lookout or give us a call at 823-0095. Chrysler PT Cruiser, this is the stuff. You know that it's all that. It's like big band meets nouveau bebop rock funk. You feel what I'm saying? Totally recombined and redefined. Cool, classic, free, true. But y'all don't understand. Just peep the lateral symmetry of the instrument panel. Audible, adjustable, flexible, flavorful. Chrysler PT Cruiser. Y'all don't understand. Chrysler PT Cruiser. This is the stuff. ta -da. why we created Lucas Fuel Saving Motor Oils. Their special additives increase compression and minimize friction, improving fuel mileage. With Lucas, you'll keep from losing your shirt, or even worse.
Seaboard Marine, a leader in ocean transportation, is now offering services to Belize. Offering the fastest and most reliable transit to Belize, Seaboard Marine is the number one choice for shipping. We offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chilled cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule, excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information. Whether it's your life you're trying to sweeten or someone else's, make it Moho Chocolate. At Moho Chocolate, we produce the finest quality chocolate. All the cocoa used by Moho Chocolate is sourced from over 120 farmers from southern Belize. We produce chocolate bars, chocolate truffles, mini chocolate squares in several flavors, and organic cocoa powder. We also have gift baskets. The next time you eat chocolate, make sure it's Moho Chocolate. Visit us at any of our three locations in Tourism Village in Belize City, in San Pedro, or in the Departure Lounge at the International Airport. When you think chocolate, think Moho Chocolate. Marie Sharp's Fine Foods. You've come a long way, lady. A true Belizean original for over 30 years. Winner of many prestigious awards, such as the Food and Beverage Food Award from the Anuga Food Show in Germany, the Fiery Food Show, and many others. From Belize to China and Japan, from Germany and the UK to the USA, you can choose with confidence your favorite Marie Sharp's red and green hot habanero pepper sauces. How about our just juicy fruit juices? Marie Sharp's jams, jellies, exotic tamarind based steak sauce. Belizean seasonal, green mango chutney, snacks, as well as our popular red and green pepper jellies. All mouth-watering, all delicious, all natural and free of sodium benzoate preservatives. And HACCP certified. Marie Sharp Fine Foods, proud products of Belize. Whichever suits you better, Grace Coconut Milk is your best choice for taste. Good as homemade, only more convenient. Grace. Bringing good taste to life. Build your future with Belize's leading development finance institution, DFC. We finance development projects in sectors of education, housing, agriculture and agro-processing, manufacturing, tourism, small and micro-enterprise, and much more. All at affordable interest rates and flexible repayment terms. We also offer free in-house property valuations, free sound financial and technical guidance for projects, affordable building and life insurance coverage under DFC's group insurance scheme and more. So what are you waiting for? Take advantage of DFC's efficient delivery of loans and related services and get a step closer to building your future. Visit any of our nearest offices for additional information or call us at 822-2350 or 822-2360. DFC, realizing Belizean dreams, your partner in development. interesting the things that people are going through you know sometimes well all the time we're in our own little world doing our own little things and we kind of tend to forget exactly what else is going on out there yeah you know and and we feel that our challenges are the greatest challenges <laughs> you know i i I'm but then runner they always say it, when you think you got things bad somebody always got something worse than you so every day you have to wake up and give thanks for the little you have and if you're in a trialing situation, pray. And 
Now focus on the problem, focus on the solution. That is the only way to get out of a problem. Focus on how I will fix this, not what it is. Exactly. I that's, live a good, that's a good motivation for today. Thank you. I, that's how I try to live. Seriously, you know, like some people say, I don't know who you are always smiling. I say, if I walk around with a friend, you think anybody really care? <laughs> yeah, I said, that girl just miserable. We always say, but that... That's that one means. thing, though, Will. And I have to say, that's <laughs> one thing. Unless, unless you know me in a different way. But the people on the street can never say that I'm miserable. Well, I've never seen you miserable either. Well, have I? Unless you live with me, then you don't yeah. know. Yeah, uh, true, true, true. <laughs> You, all no. see, you always see Rhonda laughing. I live with my boyfriend for 16 years mm -hmm. and he does not take me anywhere. I am 32 and he is 41 and we have three children. Why does that sound so familiar? Why he have a carry on? I mean, he, he, she makes it sound like he's the one that's responsible for her not going anywhere. What? I mean, she's an independent woman herself. And she should be able to go where she wants to. So if she wants to go with her friends, she should be able to go with her friends as, as well. It, her happiness does not only depend on the, part, on the person that she's with. And I understand. But maybe what she is saying is that she goes, but he doesn't invite her anywhere. So they don't go anywhere together. That might be her biggest issue. The fact is that they don't go anywhere together. And in 16 years, if this is the norm, then this is the norm. But you have to find a way to change it and if we sit down and wait for our partners to change it it might never change why don't you invite him well i i don't know about inviting him why it seems like he's set in his ways um so if you know that you're in you know in a relationship like this trust me you're gonna know from the very beginning 16 years is a long time to wait and try to change it at that point i don't say change it but i say if i want something i'm willing to give it a shot and i'm i'm willing to invite him I'm willing to set up a day and say, you know, babe, Saturday, I have planned that we will go to Kikaka. And he might say yes. And maybe the same way you waiting for him to, inv for him to invite you, he waiting for you to invite him. Or uh, he thing, might think mm -hmm. that you don't want to go. Well, see, the thing is, I think where this is actually maybe happening wrong is the fact that she wants to go to places that have other people involved. And instead of make, having that time, together i think if it's a situation where you're having that time together he might consider going so if you say you know what let's go to dinner together or yeah. let's do something just you and i together yeah. you know he might definitely reconsider invite the man morning i tell you it three years of crap from my ex i left a month ago and i met a nice young lady and she feels now that she will pay for my past what should i do well, she's got to definitely be thinking of a reason why she's going to be paying for your past. There's something she might have already experienced from you that makes her think that she's going to be experiencing from the past. In th if you've been in a relationship for three years and you've been separated for one month and in that month you already find somebody, somebody will pay. <laughs> you know why somebody will pay? It's because you haven't had any time for closure. Exactly. You haven't had any time for yourself. You haven't had any time to figure out where you want to go. You're looking for quick comfort. And while quick comfort is okay, don't get committed so early. Relax yourself. But you What's the rush? I agree. I have a friend that would have said, what's the fire? Well, there's one fire that I know that he might want. But yes. that, necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to jump in a relationship. And that's one very good point. Not because you want to jump the girl's bones means you have to disillusion her by telling her that you're committed to her or you disillusion yourself exactly by jumping in no 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 let it be known what you want if she won't give you she'll give you she don't want to give you fine fair enough but don't don't do that man i agree morning i am married but all my husband do is accuse me of cheating and he keep jealousing me what should i do Ooh. Been there, been there, been there, been there. Been there, been there, yes. done that, got the t-shirt. Well, yeah. And it really is not healthy for a relationship. As a matter of fact, that was, that's, that sounds like my, pre that, that I wonder if, I wonder if, I won, I won, uh, really I won, uh, no, but that, that's a situation. And what it does, it actually pushes you to really consider things and it makes, it makes you feel like you're actually doing something wrong. The problem with that is it pushes the other person far away from you. 
and it starts leading into it starts going into a situation where it's a downward spiral and it, it ends up in divorce that's what it that's what it's going to end up in i'll tell you like karen sans say right this is what you need to tell your husband because obviously he's driving you away he needs to treat you like he trusts you and eventually he will be able to trust you because your behavior will be you will recognize that this man trusts you and you wouldn't want to violate that when he acts in the opposite what he does is he gives you the cheating pass that way if you cheat then you cheat. You've already paid the price for cheating is what is happening in your mind. So sit down with your husband, have the same conversation with him and leave it. If that doesn't help, counsel it. If that doesn't help, forget it. I don't have nothing to add. <laughs> you thanks. I think that makes sense. I have a girl, but she's married to a man. You have somebody else girl in. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> you take it, it right out of a mode right now. But I live with she now. How can I know if she really wants to be with me? And I want to marry her now. Uh, you can't marry someone that's already been married. Well, or it's still married, right? He says, I have a girl, but she married, yeah. Yeah. So you can't marry somebody without married. You know. You can't have a relationship with somebody without married. Unless you're not Bec bigamous. Well, yes. But in, in another situation, that girl can't give you wholeheartedly what she really wants. You know, but, uh, you grew up with siblings? Yes. You ever that like let's go say you go and pick mango and she get the brother or sister get three mango and you get one and then you thief one after them one except them bring some mango you want get back. No, when the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know you yeah. don't put this tongue to sour mango. You know you you grab the mango because you see the mango it look good but when you taste it it's sour. <laughs> but now your sister don't want it again because you don't, you don't it. bite it. You don't bite it. You contaminate the mango. Nobody want the mango now. That's what it happened to him right now. He take this mango, he take the he can take this man wife or whatever the case is. Uh -huh. No, he have I not sure. Mm -hmm. Do I really want to? I'm not sure how to feel about this mango where at if. The mango so I ain't sure if he should have give it back, take it, whatever the case for is. For one, I never his mango. No, not for him mango, it if the mango. So in a, in a that case, eh, he just need to left out. He, he never need to thief the mango in the first place. No, you got regrets. Yeah, you know, exactly. sure if this mango want to stay with her or you want to go back to where you get it exactly. from. Exactly. You always have that position because if it's so easy for you to thief this mango, you think it's so easy thief to make somebody else thief, thief this mango exactly. for me. Exactly. And I'm sorry for breaking down to mango, but I put it in a terms of we Caribbean people can relate to. Trust me, I want to know if you're ripe or green. Someone like green mango, whatever your preference is. <laughs> right? But what I have to say is that that is why it is unhealthy to get in these kind of relationships because minute, it starts with well, no trust. Let's get back. I mean, I know this has nothing to do with that question here. Well, it does in a way, but the thing about it is the minute someone is in a relationship and you're thinking of having a relationship with somebody that has a relationship, you have no relationship. Have you have no relationship. That's exactly what it is. You're having a good time. So you need to, you need to remember this always. And I, and, I, and I definitely urge you to remember this. If you are thinking of having a relationship that with somebody that's in a relationship, you do not have a relationship. You won't have that person in your life forever. And that person is only using you for the time being. The minute things get better on their relationship or their marriage or whatever it is, your history. Or one better option come. Oh, exactly. Your history. Not like you could borrow my football to kick it, but you don't own it, you know. You could kick it all you want. But remember, <laughs> the ball lived that for me. Now, what did you want to do football and all this today? There are things that we can relate to. <laughs> there are things that I can relate to. That country girl. You know, there are things that we, that we boom people used to play with and eat. So you never cook, you never kick coconut? Sure. We may far too advanced to kick coconut, <laughs> well. I we, just a joke because... We kick ball, boom people and stone you when they see you. <laughs> no, I, you know, I just really said that, but you know what, honestly, I you love you guys. You won't get it, you won't get it. I mean, Ruta Maya to come up. Boom. I just Ruta Maya to come up. I won't bring a boom for Ruta Maya. I want to say I want to stone her. No, just, no. Give me, just give me a cool coconut. I just want to say I can't stone well, okay? Just give me a coconut. Good morning. They, yes, they are going to coconut for kick. <laughs> Good morning. Me and this girl was going out for six months. She got pregnant. The baby is now six months. But she doesn't want me to be a part of the child's life. Whoa. What to do? So it's, it's his kid? Yes. So he has rights? Yes. And in this case, you know, all, she, all he needs to do is he needs to, if he really is serious about being a part of this child's life, what he needs to do is he actually needs to go through the proper channels. Uh, talk to your attorney, talk to your lawyer, 
and get your lawyer to file an, an affidavit so that you can actually get to see your kid. Challenge this girl in court for, for exactly uh, for a visitation, right? So there's I mean, there's ways about going about it. Just don't go there and start creating chaos. Yes, there, that is what the court system is designed for. It's designed to support you, and it's good to see fathers wanting to be a part of their children's life. So, go there. Even if you can't deal with the woman, you have to deal with her in order to see a child. Exactly. But morning matters have a wine now, Will. Why you always tell me this when I just to get you're into just it? Just to get into it. You're just to get you know, into it. I just want. Knock them out. Let's go. Let's knock them out. I tell you, you'd behave like Drew. Drew always pretend like they, they had the saddest time now in morning matters. Done. But it is the saddest time. Because <laughs> that means I don't see you for the next three months, right? No. <laughs> Unless you know what, see me. No, man. No, but man. I'm available. You're available. All right. Remind me again how if somebody out there wants to be... Actually, before before you before you get into that, um, the Nouveau Model Management is actually having a show called Fashion Fusion 2014. It's a fashion extravaganza, and believe it or not, it's actually to ben all funds um, or pro the proceeds from the show will go to benefit less fortunate Belizean children. Okay. And I mean every single dime. Um, anything that comes in th as funding will go towards that cause. So people out there, I certainly urge you to attend the show. Show a child some love this Valentine's. The show is actually on February 15th at the Princess Hotel and Casino. We will certainly have uh, Legion designers there. We will have Legion models there. Um, entertainment between every segment. So it's a great show that you're not going to want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. You say it's 15th of February. Fe February 15th. What time or how much for go? I will probably to get my tickets okay. right away. You can get your tickets at Eve's Secrets on, uh, I think that's... Um, Freetown Road. Freetown Road, sorry. Eve Secrets, you can actually go on to uh, Facebook and look up uh, Nouveau Model Management Belize. Um, you can get your tickets in Kikaker from Purple Passion Studio. Um, you can get your tickets from the models, actually. Okay. Um, or you can call 633-556-3555. Again, 635-5555. And if your tickets are... $75 for VIP, which includes hors d'oeuvres. Well, I should say front row seating, hors d'oeuvres, and a glass of wine. It's for how much? $75. Okay. $55, you get res your reserve ticket, which is only two rows back. And you get, um, you can also get your general admission tickets, which is $35. Perfect. All right, so I know where for sure. I so will see you again. Show a child some love for Valentine's. Show a, show a child some love. Who are so like where do, where are these children chosen from? Well, what it is is we have through our mediums different. Uh, we we go to well. Th there's two programs that is actually benefiting from this. It is our annual um, school bag drive, which we put uh, school uh, books. Um, pencils, rulers, sharpeners, all that into a bag. And wh what we do is we petition to schools for them to provide us with names of kids who normally don't get these things from their parents or can't afford it because we want to be able to promote positive things in Belize. Education is one of them. Um, without an education, kids can't get forward. And w so we're, we're providing that to the tools for them to do that. The other thing that it actually helps is the our annual, what we call a Christmas giving. And what it does, it pr uh, provides a child that normally wouldn't receive anything for Christmas, either toys, clothes, or books for, th for them during the Christmas time. So those are two programs that it actually benefits. And those are not only here in Belize. We've actually provided stuff all the way down to, Dan uh, down to Punta Gorda. We've sent stuff to Dangriga, Cayo, Belmopan, Belize, to Liberty Children's Home and um, the Dorothy Menzies. We've actually provided for Corozal, St. Matthew's Village, we've provided for, for um, San Pedro. So we, we actually help quite a bit of people and we would want to help more people. That's the reason why we're, hence the reason why we're do actually doing the show this year. I mean, I like the idea of what you're using it for, but I also like the idea of being able to go out to a good show. Yes, well, see, that's the thing. You, normally people in Belize, they don't want to go, they, want, they don't just normally want to give out the $75. So we thought, you know what, let's give them something that they're going to remember. And it's a positive cause, you know. They're gonna get. They're not. They're gonna get a bang for their buck, really. Oh yes, man. I mean, 
regardless of where the money go after that, I mean, I'm glad that it's going to a nice exactly. place. But I would have gotten my money's worth just by going. But before that, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you, how can people like there are a lot of people out there that might be interested in being models. How can they, you know, how can they audition or qualify well, or what, get their names in the bar? What they, what work? they can do is actually go to our Facebook page for now. Um, our website is actually being built, and it should be released sometime in the end of February. But uh, go to our Facebook page for now, and you can actually look up Nuvo, and that's spelled N-O-U-V-E-A-U, Model Management Belize. And you can actually contact the committee on there. There's actually a selection board that goes through every single uh, mail that comes in. And they would set up a time and a, and a date or a place that everyone can come in that is actually thinking about it. They go through an entire selection. They do th an, an, an audition. And um, if you get selected, you know, congratulations. But it is certainly a selection process. It is not, you know, you think you're beautiful and, did every, you know, everything's good and you get in. No, that's not the way it works. They have to choose. They you. actually have to be chosen. Well, Will, thank you for stopping in this morning. It was definitely good fun. I, now I know where I will be on February 15th. Um, I will be at Princess at the modeling show. Correct. And I can get my tickets all over town or I can call you. you yeah, you can actually give me a call. Give there me a call. Go. All right, well, guys, until next time, I encourage you to take care of yourselves and each other. This is Ron the Crane along with Will Moreno. Saying goodbye.